It was a very cool thing we're going to tell you how to do, particularly if you have a laptop that's uh, old and the display is not working anymore. Don't throw it away. Here's, uh, here's something very interesting. So uh, we have Rupesh here who's going to tell us uh, more about it. Uh, Rupesh, tell us, what exactly is this and uh, what are we going to do here today? Okay, what we have here is a, is a regular LCD TV, mm -hmm. uh, which I want to power using a media center. Okay. I want to turn the TV into something that can play all my movies, play, uh, show pictures, hold all the music. And while doing all of that, still be able to stream uh, videos and music of uh, Wi-Fi from different parts of the house. So it's a media center TV. Yes, it's a media center TV. Yeah. And to do that, I'm going to tear apart an old laptop. Why Why exactly would you want to do that? Uh, the display doesn't work. Oh, okay. The battery is completely gone. And it doesn't stay on uh, on the battery for more than 10 minutes. But what it can do is uh, show full high definition uh, movies on a TV. That's pretty much all you need. Yes. So what we're going to do here is systematically dismantle the laptop mm -hmm. and uh, and latch it to the back of the television. Let's get it down to it. The first step of the way, it's always advisable to pull the battery off. And before anything, all you need to do is touch your hand to the ground, discharge all static electricity that's built up in your body so that you don't harm any of the components that are inside. So we're going to knock all of that off. Now, I'm dismantling the two leads that connect to the Wi-Fi uh, adapter because these two leads are connected to the display panel. So we can hook that back up. Now what we're doing is taking off the entire front panel off. Once you remove this, it will dismantle the, the connector that actually connects the display from the main laptop to the, uh, to the display itself. So basically we are removing the keyboard off completely and uh, it just comes off very smoothly. The next step of the process is to uh, completely remove the cable that connects the Wi-Fi. These are the only two cables that connect the display to the main board. I'm going to just fix back the keyboard cable. Okay, so we have the keyboard back in. Find all the right screws of the keyboard. The whole thing will just snap into place and, and it's done. Wi-Fi is uh, uh, down. So there you have it. It's, it's now just a single unit. The lab. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Flip back the television. So here we have some very simple connections. What we have here is a standard set of connectors. We are going to use the RGB input connector and that always comes coupled with a, an audio input connector. So these two will serve as our uh, primary audio and video input. What I've done here is use the regular old Coke can and cut it out to make this little clamp which will hold the laptop behind the TV screen. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to use the cables and hook them on. And the audio goes to the side. So now you've got the entire laptop. Is that going to hold it? Yeah, it's going to hold it. You have your power button here. Turn the power on. So let's turn this around and see how it works. You are set. Go on. Power it off. Okay, let's do that. that's what you do if you have a laptop that doesn't work and uh, you don't want to spend money fixing it. And if you have a TV at home, you know, do stuff like uh, what Rupesh told us how to do.